Any journal raised in Agresso must balance. To raise a journal that has two or more lines, select Agresso Financials, General Ledger, Transaction Entry and Posting. For this example, the menu will be minimised. Select General Ledger Journals as the posting cycle. The period automatically populates to the current period. This can be changed if required, but you will receive an error if you are trying to post to a closed period. Pressing tab validates your entry. You will receive an error if you input an invalid value. The transaction date defaults to today's date. This can be amended for retrospective posting only. The trans number populates automatically when you save the transaction. This is a seven digit number. In the account field, enter the account code for the transaction. There are rules associated with account codes. The rule for the selected account determines which attributes display. In this example, the account code 1600 requires the week number next. In the work order field, enter the work order that the transaction is being posted to or search for it using a value lookup. Depending on the account selected, the field will automatically populate. In this example, by entering a work order, you will notice that the cost center and project automatically populate. This example uses the value lookup to search for the correct work order code. The first four digits of the code and a wildcard placed into the first row of the attribute value field help to filter the search results. Use data find or F7 to activate the search. Double click on the required record to return to the main general ledger journal screen. In the outlet field, enter the retail or wholesale outlet that the transaction is being posted to or search for it using the value lookup. The legal entity automatically populates with the company name. The TC field is the tax code for the transaction and the TS or tax system defaults based on the posting attributes specified. In the current amount field, enter the transaction amount as a positive for a debit or a negative for a credit. The value date is the date of the transaction. In the text field, enter a meaningful description for the journal. This displays as a narrative for the transaction against general ledger inquiries. To finish the line entry, click Keep or press F11 to add the transaction to the journal lines at the bottom of the screen. When the first line has been added to the summary table, the cell selector returns to account so you can enter the account code, cost center and additional attributes for the balancing lines of the journal. In this example, the work order code is amended. Press Keep once again or F11 and the credit line displays in the transaction table at the bottom of the screen. Before saving the journal, make sure that all the lines balance. If the box to the left of the subtotal row is checked, the transaction is balanced. Finally, click OK to complete the process.